Ignatz, I've been looking all over for you. Oh, uh, hello, Sylvain. Do you need something? Yeah, I actually... Oh, were you painting? Uh, sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. No, it's fine. What can I do for you? Actually, I was hoping you could take a look at this painting I brought back last time I was home. Hmm. This style is rarely seen in Fargus. It might be the work of an Imperial painter. Agreed. I don't think I've seen this style of brushwork used much in the kingdom. My father's first wife was an Imperial noble, so maybe it was hers? I never knew that. Still, it's quite stunning. I know, right? That lady's really something. Uh, I didn't mean the woman herself. Though, of course, she's lovely, too. The features of her face suggest such kindness. She actually resembles Lady Rhea, in a way. The thing is, I have no idea who she is or if she even exists in real life. Is that why you came to me? To see if I could uncover her identity? Pretty much. I really love this thing, so it's been bugging me for years. I thought maybe you could finally scratch the itch for me. I mean, everybody knows you're the go-to guy for anything related to art. Well, I'll do what I can, but please, try not to get your hopes up. There's still a great deal I don't know. Though I must admit, my curiosity has been piqued as well. Oh, really? Thanks. I wouldn't have the first clue about how to go about this on my own. I mean... I'd at least have something to go on if it was a religious painting, but us kingdom folk pretty much only care about fighting, you know? And our art books are... well, let's just say they're lacking, and leave it at that. <laughs> yes, I'm well aware. Sadly, while religious art has continued to thrive and grow, the same can't be said for its secular counterparts. I... I do get the impression that this portrait may actually be related to the Church of Saros, though. You think? I don't know. I haven't noticed any of the usual elements of a Saros composition. As I'm sure you know, paintings of legendary and sacred figures all share a certain pattern. Which is to say, they're frequently depicted with their associated symbols. Yeah, like Saint Saros with swords and Saint Sethelene with fish. I don't see anything even close to that here. Look at the birds. Don't they seem strangely prominent to you? I guess, now that you mention it. Okay, so who was associated with birds? Saint Macule, maybe? No, Saint Macule was a guy. This is nothing like how he's usually depicted, either. I didn't expect you to be so knowledgeable, Sylvain. Uh, no offense. To be honest, I always thought the two of us lived in entirely different worlds. <laughs> Come on! You should know me better than that. I'm the biggest art connoisseur in all of Fargus. Though, I admit, at first I... I only studied it to impress the ladies. <laughs> Sorry. I guess we still live in different worlds after all. Hey, Ignatz. How goes the research? I've actually learned a fair number of things about your painting. Based on the canvas and pigments, I've managed to narrow down the era when it was made. I believe it to be from roughly 200 years ago, around the time the Officers' Academy was founded at the monastery. Wow, I'm impressed you can nail it down that specifically. <laughs> I knew you'd come through for me. Well, the vivid blue pigment of her clothes is very distinctive. It's a rare kind of Almiron paint made from crushed gemstones. And it only came to Fodlin two centuries ago, after Almira invaded. Oh, which means the painting can't be any older than that, yeah? Exactly. Oh, and the material used for the canvas is... Well, if I went into every detail, we'd be here all day. What about you, Sylvain? Did you learn anything? I heard you were trying to track down some books in the capital. Yeah, I read up on the saints. Turns out birds are definitely one of St. Macule's things. 
but I also found a weird story about an archbishop from two centuries ago. I'm guessing her reign got cut short due to illness because I didn't recognize the name at all. Anyway, on the day she died, white birds apparently flocked to the monastery and started mourning. If that took place two centuries ago, she might be the person in this painting. Yeah, it all seems too connected to be a coincidence. Still, her clothes seem rather plain for an archbishop of the time. Yeah, I wonder why. They were usually into fancy robes and big hats and all that. Maybe it's more of a symbolic representation than an actual portrait. It could be designed to show how she was humble and supportive of the poor and downtrodden. Or perhaps she just wanted to be represented without all the trappings of her office. Of course, I'm just guessing here. I have no actual proof of anything. Hey, I'm spitballing too. I mean, I don't even know for sure that she was an archbishop. Still, is it just me or does she look a lot like Lady Rhea? Well, yes, I suppose she does. But that has to be a coincidence, right? The position of archbishop isn't hereditary. And I doubt they could be related in any way. Yeah, you're right. Probably just the overall ambiance that makes them seem similar. Anyway, who knew I'd find something like this hiding in my house? <laughs> Pretty crazy, huh? I'm really glad I showed you. Not knowing would have probably bugged me for the rest of my life otherwise. No, thank you. I'm truly glad to have come across this piece both because I got to know a stunning work of art and because I learned more about you in the process. You're much easier to talk to than I imagined, and quite a bit more interesting as well. <laughs> Glad we could clear up that little misunderstanding, because I'm all about making new friends. I feel just the same. <laughs>